Kia ora, Niels. Great Yay. to see you. Kia ora to you. Very, very tender renditions of my songs. <laughs> tender is the, Thank you. is the most beautiful way it's ever been described, my voice. It's so good to see you, my friend. Um, tell us a little bit about the new album. Well, uh, we started the new album as a, as a five piece, a, a sort of a reinvented, reimagined Crowded House lineup. Uh, I guess I'd had my experience with Fleetwood Mac and seen what a, a unique um, story they'd had. And I thought, hey, I've got my own classic band. Let's imagine it a different way. Yeah. My, my, my sons were there um, as my, you know, collaborators for the last few years, having become uh, some of my favourite musicians on the planet and also deeply embedded in the ethos and the humour and the, the music of Crowded House. And Mitchell Froome agreed finally after 25, 30 years to join the band, our original producer. Mm. This seemed like an opportunity. We went into the studio for a month uh, at the beginning of last year uh, with the pandemic looming and recorded on the floor in a live setting, which of course, after a few weeks became impossible. We had to re mm. uh, reinvent that process yeah. and, and disappear into our little... Um, our bedrooms and our home studios and complete the whole thing. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how everyone had to pivot, mm. isn't it, when, when COVID hit and how everyone managed to adapt. But, I mean, working yeah. with your boys and the fact you get to share this, this passion with them must be wonderful. Well, it is. It would be a nice idea if it was just the family getting to hang together. But uh, as I said before, I mean, Liam and Elra have become two of my favourite musicians on the planet. And... Uh, so, and we've just done 12 shows in New Zealand, um, which was a rare privilege at the moment. Um, and the power and, and sound of the band just feels um, awesome to behold, I, I have to say. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a musical, a musical uh, decision as well as a family decision. Of course, we do sing well together, given that we're part of the same family. And... There's certain intuitions and instincts that serve us well too. I know that uh, you'd be reluctant artistically to compare, but um, would you say that you're better than Fleetwood Mac? <laughs> <laughs> what an insane question. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think they're unique. The thing about bands is that they're one of a kind. Yeah. You know, somehow the, the combination of quirky individuals becomes this band. And, I, and Fleetwood Mac are the prime example of that and they're completely relevant now. Uh, young people are singing their songs in, in greater numbers almost all the time. So, Crowded House, well, it's not, it hasn't, uh, we didn't uh, take it to the same level as Fleetwood Mac. I've had our own experience with that whole thing of songs lasting for generations. It's a beautiful exchange. Mm. And how is that when, you know, I mean, just this interview unfortunately started with Carl and I singing, the fact <laughs> that, you know, everyone knows your songs. Well, I mean, that's just one of the greatest gifts that a songwriter can have. And um, I've always said, and it sounds like I have no ego. Of course, I do have ego for it myself. But the songs themselves become living entities in my mind. And if they go on and they're sung around campfires in 50 years' time and nobody knew who wrote them and they get all the words wrong, but the tune stays in one piece, then that to me is a true sign of success, you know. Um, so I've sent a few off and they've had a pretty good life. I aim to send a few more. Well, um, we, we, and we love it too. I mean, I, mean, I remember Hey Now used to be the passing song back at the Blue Light Discos. Ew. As soon as that came, as soon as that riff came on, it was on like Donkey Kong. Oh, oh creepy. He's, he's so poetic, isn't he? I know. No, that's okay. I'm actually, I'm, you know, I've had people tell me which song on side two of an album was, you know, when him and his wife got it, got it on. So. <laughs> No, no. You don't want to know about it's these only, things, but it's only men who share those stories, happen. isn't it? Yeah, no, no. We, well, obviously, it's not just us. <laughs> no, it's, it's, not, it's, it's a let's thing. Be, let's be frank. Music is the is the you know the alchemy. Music is the yeah. uh, the catalyst for many good activities in this world. Do you know it was such a great, um, fruitful um, time of songwriting um, for you too? Was there any combination of things that were going on that that made made it so? Are uh, you talking back in the day? Yeah. Um, oh, you know, it, it, music is mysterious, so I don't really know. I think it, look, we had a lot of energy for it. I came off the back of being in Split Ends and we formed Crowded House um, almost immediately. Yeah. Um, there was just a huge energy at that point. Music was so thrilling. Uh, Paul and Nick were such great collaborators. Uh, but we didn't know what we were doing half the time. We are sort of stumbling along and just putting a lot of deliberation and a lot of uh, thought into it, but also trying to make it sound effortless, you know. There's, there's, in, in part it's craft, in part it's art, in part it's love, and part of it is just skullduggery.
Mm -hmm. Hey, um, great to talk to you, my friend. We're glad that all that music um, was so fruitful and, and we'll all have our own memories of that and we love the new stuff as well. We can't wait to Thank see you, you in, in concert here sometime mm -hmm. real soon, I hope. Uh, to, before the end of the year, we will be we will be coming your way. There's no doubt. Wow! Unreal. Oh my go. Hey, uh, kia ora, uh, Neil. Thank you so much for your time. Crowded House's new album is out now, and it is absolutely fantastic. And tickets for their live from the island online tour are available this Saturday, 12th of June, at emu emusiclive.com. Mm. Um,